Desert villages in Minecraft, in my opinion, are some of the most impressive in the game. The structures that are in place are awesome. I love the different shapes, the height variations that you can get, the colors that are added in, the difference in blocks and textures that is used. I think this definitely makes a lot of sense for the world, and they're one of my favorite to come across in the game. But as with most things, I do have a lot of ideas of my own that I would like to add into this desert village. Now, I know that Minecraft itself is probably not going to add any of these ideas because, well, they're not Minecrafty enough, but I wanted to have some fun and share my thoughts with all of you, so uh, let's get into it. To begin, I picked out this lovely seed. I absolutely love the view of the village overlooking the mesa in the background. I thought it was perfect and so, so inspirational. So with that out of the way, let's get started with the transformation. To begin, we are going to have to establish a plan of attack, putting in a little retaining wall on the side here to separate that bank and add a smoother connection upwards and also adding in one extra building. Then beginning on one of the transformations, starting off by really establishing our style, figuring out the blocks that I want to use here and pretty much just going with the default ones. There's lots of variants of the sandstone and that sort of terracotta to jungle wood color range has quite a lot of blocks in it too. So I'm definitely taking advantage of being able to use granite in this, which is one of my absolute favorite blocks. Even adding little gardens off to the side to add just a little bit of color in between everything. This is a very neutral looking village, so adding these little pops of green in between to make it almost a little bit more oasis-y since it is next to an ocean make a lot of sense to me. Each building in this village is very different from each other. They all have little variations of design that make them unique, but they all also pretty much follow the same general rules and palettes, so they look like they belong together. I tried to really establish a few different houses that looked like they're meant for the separate jobs, like this one, quite obviously, is for the sheep. This helps me find inspiration when I'm hopping from building to building, even though this village originally was pretty much just regular houses, there wasn't a lot of the actual workhouses. I enjoyed this nonetheless though, and I added some of those taller towers that are found a lot of the times in these desert villages myself. Also, since this is so close to the ocean, of course I had to add docks. Oh, they're just so lovely with all of the decoration options and color that you can add here. Adding in some palm trees and then some buildings off to the side to really finish off the look. Now moving my attention to the farms. These are really important, but kind of hard to establish in a desert. I mean, how much farming are they actually going to do? I decided that adding in these aqueducts was a great way to get these farms sort of integrated into the desert life and have it be pretty unique. I like how this effect turned out. Adds a nice touch of green all around. Of course, I did also need to do this bigger building in the back. This just sort of fills in the background a little bit for me, kind of finishing off this cliff edge. Just one extra building. Didn't hurt anybody. I'm finally getting around to working on a lot of these little details, and something that that involves is the interior. And the interior of these houses is, well, it's definitely interesting. Oh, are you stuck? How? <laughs> Oh my gosh. So basically this is one entire big structure that I have to kind of figure out how to piece together, get a staircase going between the layers on the interior there somehow, and kind of give this place a function. So with some of these interiors, like this one here, I'm doing kind of special interiors, more like a farming one. Um, this one over here is specifically like the blacksmith area, sort of. So for some of them, I'm thinking of jobs, but then for this one, it's a little bit large. To be honest, for this one, I may just do it like a general house. I mean, that's what these two buildings were originally, just kind of areas with a quick little table and chairs and a bed. So maybe just a bigger version of that. Figuring out how to divide up the layers is so important. We have a balcony right here, and I also have another one right here that leads us across to here, and I'll probably, ooh, not there. I'll probably have to put a ladder, yeah, right here so that we can get down. <laughs> this is a little bit awkward, but uh, okay, let's pick a height for the floor and go with it. 
Oh, it's so hard to build around villagers. They just have no regard <laughs> for anything that I'm doing. Dude, I'm trying to help you. This isn't too bad. Oh wait, this can, that can completely open up. Oh my gosh. Huh, okay. Dude, why? Go, 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 get up, get, why? The one corner, really? Yeah, that's what I thought. Once the general layout is decided, it's a lot easier to start thinking about some actual furniture. So uh, let's get some blocks for that. A bed, obviously, but they probably want their privacy. So I'll do a little screen door sort of thing right there. Maybe some chests and a crafting table or something or, hmm. Yeah, maybe a chest next to that. And then maybe a desk somewhere, yeah. Also, I kind of wanted to get some shelving in up here, and I think that works really well, actually. Oh, hello! The problem with putting a lot of these barrels in a village, of course, is that you do get a lot of fishermen. But, I mean, that's okay. I'm okay with fish. Are you stuck? You have to walk all the way up the stairs. There's no shortcuts here. You have to go all the way up. Do I need to destroy that one? You could do it. I believe in you. All right, this is looking much better. Now I just have to do the rest of them. I do think it might be really smart to do some more of these um, campfires and bricks and stuff around the place. Uh, it doesn't make sense, of course, because we're in a desert, so they don't necessarily need warmth, but they do have kitchens in spots, so I don't know. Maybe if we just run with it in a couple of places. I really like the look of the smoke coming up. I think it adds, just adds a little bit of movement. Yeah, I kind of like that. All right, I'm going to continue with these details and I'll bring you guys back when I am finished adding them all in. Welcome to the part of the video where I tour around the village with some shaders on. These are the BSL shaders. If you are interested, I have them through Optifine. One of my favorite things about this village is the variation in height that is going on all around us. I think this makes it a lot more interesting to explore. We could go down to the coast over there or we could follow the stairs upwards and take ourselves in quite a lot of different directions. This makes it a lot more interesting to just wander around the village in general and explore all of the things that are going on. Hello, you going inside? <laughs> I've tried to do interior in as many places as possible, but as you can see, some of them are just very, very simple. The other thing I really like is the aqueducts and farms that I have going around in different areas. These little gardens and areas with water flowing down not only add a lot of color, but also a lot of life to this otherwise pretty barren desert. I really like the way that this looks, especially with the palm trees that I've also scattered around. I've used some debris on the bottom with the soul sand going into a jungle wood gradient. I don't know if that's a good way to use that block. I haven't decided if I like it yet. You guys can let me know the verdict on that one. You know, you, you, new blocks are coming out and we gotta try them. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. As for the interiors, I have done quite a few kind of more fancy. This one over here has this little study area and it goes up into the little bedroom and then eventually up at the top layer we have the storage. This little balcony here where we can look out over the mesa and the ocean. Oh, how I would love to live here. Also, as you can see, I've done some salt flats. Now, I will admit, I'm not 100% sure if this is what salt flats would exactly look like. Normally when I'm building something like this that is from real life, I would probably Google it and see what it actually looks like, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm writing final exams this week and I just, I didn't have time to do proper research, so I apologize for that, but I definitely do want to do more of this sort of thing in the future because, I mean, I think it makes sense. As for this village as a whole, I mean, Normally for my villages, they have massive farms or logging areas or something like this, but this is a desert. It's barren. It doesn't have much, but it does have this dock area. 
I've got some kelp and melon and stuff. Maybe they're doing something with that, but I think salt? I mean, that could definitely make sense. I definitely want to expand on this sort of concept at some point. Another one of my more awkward interiors is right over here. We can come over to this kitchen, little screened off bedroom, and upstairs again, just sort of, this is awkward. It's all very, very tiny. I didn't know exactly what to do with this, but I really like how you can just go between the layers like this and there's so much to look at. And honestly, these small interiors are really fun to do. I had a lot of fun figuring this out and how I wanted to do everything. I think that is going to about do it for now. I hope that you have all enjoyed this tour and this village transformation. Let me know what you thought and any additional ideas or things that you would have added down in the comments down below. I'm always excited to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this and like the video too, show me some support on this. What do you want to see me transform next guys? I'm up for suggestions always. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next video, everyone. Bye-bye.